Look at them. They're so cute. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Sims in Bloom series. I'm really excited for today's episode because I think it's going to be the day that um, Daffodil has her baby and also these two age up into young adults. Um, in the last episode, as you guys know, we weren't able to get this little pregnancy emote on Daffodil. I ended up restarting the game. It still wouldn't pop up. So what I ended up ha having to do was actually cancel cancel her pregnancy, get her to woohoo with Marco again, and then I just automatically added the pregnancy back in. Um, but then I got her to take a pregnancy test so it would show up, like it would read as her being pregnant. So luckily now she actually is aware that she's pregnant. <laughs> so it's something we have to um, probably head over and tell Mako about straight away since we're already in our second trimester. So the first thing I'm going to do is get her to come over, announce news of the pregnancy to him. She's obviously writing in her journal because she's feeling some sort of way about it. She has this little note saying, as the baby grows, I can't even see what it says. <laughs> As the baby grows within her, Daffodil is preparing for all that this newcomer will entail and find some peaceful joy in it. Pregnancy's not so bad. It's not this super happy, exciting time others have described. Not for Daffodil, but it's not as awful either. And I think if we have a look down in her little traits, um, she's neutral to being pregnant. Mako, on the other hand, doesn't seem to be taking the news that well. Oh geez. Okay, so now she's got the... Oops. Well, Daffodil's partner took the news rather badly. Okay. Pregnancy freak out. Alright. What? Okay, so she's told Mako and he's obviously not happy about it. He's feeling very tense. Um, what else can we do? Can we try to convince to accept the pregnancy? Okay, so we can't do that. So we're going to tell Mako that he's Daffodil's child. He's yelling at us right now, which is... Not very nice of him. Oh geez. Okay, so she's just told him that he's the father and he did not react well to that. Um, anyway, we've got this one now saying news badly received. Daffodil's lover reacted poorly to being told that the other parent to Daffodil's child. I mean, what? Did I even read that right? Latest child, interesting. Okay, so it kind of feels like Marco does not want to be a part of this. Um, he's heading upstairs now and Daffodil's obviously feeling some sort of way about it. She hasn't told her parents yet, so I'm going to get her to change into an outfit that is less obvious that she's pregnant, even though you can definitely still tell on anything she's wearing because she's quite far along now. Um, Marco's obviously come outside to do some yoga to cool his head. I think at this point we really need to have a bit of a chat to him about what he wants to do moving forward um we can ask him if he wants children and obviously i think in daffodil's mind she thought that he would be more accepting um because he obviously had provided the promise rings to her and now he's quite angry so i think she's also going to ask to marry him due to having a child together but we're going to just maybe um, wait a little bit to ask him that, maybe until we're an adult because we're still a teenager. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll get her to come and have a chat with him. All right, looks like he's trying to dip, so we'll try and catch him before he leaves because you can't just leave. Go talk to him, please. Okay, so we have this sentiment. There's they got a hurt sentiment. There's obviously a rift going on. These guys are having a little bit of a conversation now about it. Oh, okay. So these guys seem to not be in the best place. He's sort of throwing, like yelling at us every time we try and talk to him. I want to get Daffodil to come over and ask if they want children. We obviously know he has the hates kid trait, which is why we weren't actually <laughs> planning on spending our life um, with him if we wanted kids, but... He's just trying to run away from us now. All right, so these two are inside now. They're gonna have a little bit of a chat in here. They've obviously got some negative stuff going on. No, we don't wanna be mean to him. He's being mean to us. Okay, let's share our worries about the pregnancy. All right, everything I'm trying to do, he's just being really mean to us. So I think I'm gonna get her to try to reassure about the pregnancy. She'll be like, look, I'm, I don't want to be in this situation either, but it was a choice we decided to make by doing Ruhu. We knew the risk, what the risks were. So, you know, if you want to be with me, you have to be with me because I'm not going to get an abortion. I am going to keep this child. And Marco just does not want to have anything to do with it. He's like, I don't care. This is not what I signed up for. And he keeps trying to walk away. So she's trying to reassure him now. 
I don't know, that did seem to help a little bit. And I think what we're going to do is ask to marry. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that plan didn't go so well that other Sim had no interest in getting married, no matter. No matter what they were told Daffodil's child was to theirs. Interesting. Okay, well, I think we're at a point now where he's decided he wants nothing to do with this child and nothing to do with us. So I think the best thing to do is because he just keeps freaking yelling at us is I'm gonna get Daffodil to actually break up with Mako and I think she's pretty much decided that she's gonna have to do this on her own because he is not being a great support um like when Daisy was pregnant with the twins she obviously didn't want the baby but she wasn't this terrible and like insulting us so Daffodil has now ended things with Mako and I'm gonna see get him to leave send home please yeah wow so we have a hundred percent negative romance and 62 percent i don't know if we'll be able to come back from this so we are we have a personal rift and we're bitter about the breakup and he's furious at us wow okay she's really enraged and hungry so i think before i stress her out too much i'm gonna get her to come and use <laughs> the toilet and get something to eat and i think it's probably best that she heads to bed all right, so she's having something to eat now, and I think it's probably best that she comes in and has a chat with her mums about what's going on. So I'm going to get her to come in and tell Hallie about the pregnancy. I feel like Hallie is going to be the most understanding out of the two. <gasps> oh, she's angry. And we'll have to obviously come in and tell Daisy as well. Oh, no, we're not getting an abortion. <laughs> Cancel that. So Daisy has this qu quite the news little moodlet saying shock takes over daisy's mind and she tries to integrate what she has learned her teenage child pregnant what sort of madness made this happen oh well she's really angry she's whoa did you just throw a drink at your mom oh daffodils got the hormones against her um you can like cooking clover no you need to come to bed because you're obviously super like in a stale mood you can go home all right, I'm sending Daffodil to bed because she's absolutely blowing her crap at everyone, which is understandable. Her, you know, she just found out she's pregnant and her boyfriend who basically convinced her to woohoo with him and they didn't use protection is now shocked that she is pregnant and has decided to, you know, not see things through with her. So she's just learnt she's going to have to be a single mom and her parents obviously will support her, but they're not supportive of her decision to get pregnant which obviously we know is an accident um the only person that doesn't know at this stage is clover who's just chilling down here oh and by the way i did change up her hair a little bit <laughs> um so i think i'm gonna send everyone to bed because it's about 2 a.m and then i will check back in in the morning with you guys all right so it's now five o'clock in the morning i'm gonna get these guys up daffodil is already up for the day and she obviously does not need to cover her pregnancy belly anymore because please do not eat the cake um because she's told everyone in her family that she's expecting i don't know what trimester she's in now trimester three in 13 hours so we do have a little bit of time why don't you come milk the cow plant and just do some things you need to do and come get some leftovers please i want to get clover up today um you're pretty hungry too so can you please come grab something to eat and then i'm going to get her to come upstairs and enter a video game tournament today because it has been a little bit since we've entered one i think we're going to get play a sims forever tournament since we're also playing my sims forever technically and i think i'm going to invite anahi out somewhere this morning so she can leave our house because she's glitched in our bedroom for some silly reason. Alright, so Clover has reached the level 8 of the gaming skill which is amazing. She, for this generation, she needs to get up video gaming, programming and then the vet skill which we can't do until we're a young adult. Um, so she's working on her programming and her video gaming while she's a teenager and we also need to collect the rest of the feathers before, I will ideally before we move out to Mount Komorepi which will be probably at the end of this episode so I just want to come around and check to see if there are any more feathers, I don't think so. Do you have any in your inventory? No. Can you come explore this bush please? Okay, so Clover has earned 74 simoleons in her tournament and she has become third place so she's gonna head off to school now and i'm going to transfer these funds into her account 
Oh, it's egg day tomorrow. Um, also guys, I don't know how long Daisy and Hallie have left, but I did get a little pop-up at the end of the last episode saying it's Daisy's final few days with us. So I have a feeling she is going to pass maybe this episode or the next one. So I'm thinking what I want to do is get these guys to renew their vows before um, it gets too late. It is Clover's birthday today, but I'm hoping that Daffodil will give birth before we age them up so we can age them up together. Um, I kind of want to see if we can... Oh, we can do a vow renewal. Okay. These guys, and I don't think we really need anyone else. Alright, so I've brought these guys to this castle ancient ruins lot to renew their vows. Um, I don't know what the heck this is over here. I've never seen that before. It must be something from the save file. But I'm hoping I can put down a little wedding arch for them to renew their vows so let's quickly pop into here okay and then i've got these guys in a little white dress here they have lost some relationship and friendship over the years and it's not really their fault it's more um my fault because i haven't really focused on them that much but it doesn't mean they don't love each other anymore they're just you know I haven't really been focusing on them because they're elderly now so I'm going to get these guys to come over and um, let's renew our vows with with Hallie Bloom oh yay look at them they're so cute I love them even in their old age <laughs> yes look at that oh my god I want to get a photo so badly yay little fireworks Oh jeez. Alright, can you guys have the, your walk? Oh, you did your kiss and we can't walk down the aisle. So I think we're going to end this one here. And I'll get these guys to probably head somewhere just for some fun today since no one's home. Alright, I don't know where we are right now. <laughs> oh, we're, in, we're not in our town. Okay, let's head over to back to Brindleton Bay and I think we're just going to go to this little boat house that we had our first date. Oh geez the weather is awful. All right let's head inside where it's nice and quiet and I'm gonna get them to get this table over here. All right I'll get them to get a espresso each, a nice little coffee because it's well it's four o'clock in the afternoon but it could be like afternoon tea. Um, and then we'll get a blueberry bagel and a and a fruit muffin. All right, and this is the place that we actually had our first date. So this is I feel good wrapping up with these guys after this episode now, and they can you know go off and do their own thing until they both pass. But they've had such a nice, loving life together with their two beautiful girls, and I've been really having a lot of fun playing as Daisy and Hallie up until this point, and I'm really excited to take over as Clover and Daffodil um in the new generation which we've obviously started now and you know there's a little bit of drama going on but coming back to Daisy and Hallie just you know makes me think I'm really glad that things worked out for them and even though Daffodil is having not the same luck with love as these guys have had oh geez the <laughs> shirtless waiters are still here um it's good to see like diff how different storylines progress hot lunch date <laughs> Hallie Taking Hallie's favorite sim out to lunch makes her feel very happy. Oh, that's so cute. And Daisy has the same one. Aww. These guys are like literally soulmates. Okay, she got her coffee, but she didn't get her muffin. Is it because I ordered it as a main meal? That's all right. They can enjoy their coffee together and their bagel. All right, these guys are pretty hungry and I don't want them to die right away. So I'm going to send them home now, even though Hallie didn't get a chance to eat. Um, we'll get her something before she heads to bed, but... Here they are, they're off. This is the last time they'll probably come and visit this little cafe around the corner from our house, which is, you know, pretty sad, but I'm really glad that they got to spend their last days together. Oh geez. Did you fall into a puddle? And again, okay. <laughs> come on, Hallie, let's go home. Okay, so everybody is back home. These guys, oh shit, that rains loud. These guys are feeling a little bit um, hungry so I'll get them to get some food and then head to bed because they're also feeling pretty tired. Daisy obviously ate out in the restaurant so she's feeling a little bit better but she still has some needs that need to get up so she can have a cold shower because she's in a flirty mood and then we'll get her to sleep. Um, how are you going Clover? Why is there 
Oh, she's made some excellent turkey egg whites. Oh, turkey bacon. I was like, what? Scrambled eggs. I really want to get like a maid in to come clean up this house like one time because holy crap, it is a freaking mess. Um, but we definitely need the money. And how are you feeling, Daffodil? She is in trimester three. So she's going to give birth pretty much whenever. Um, I would say at this stage, Clover knows she's pregnant. But for the sake of our story, we'll come and announce her pregnancy, Clover. Like, I know we haven't really spoken in a while. But I spoke to Marco about the baby. And he wants nothing to do with it. And Clover's going to be like, well, he's an asshole anyway. I'll be there for you. Like, we've got this. And these guys... You know they're feeling a bit better and we'll also announce the pregnancy to her as well announce news of pregnancy and i can also tell her tell about being pregnant single it was hard to tell another sim about not having a serious romantic partner oh no poor daffodil why don't you head to, she's gonna write in her journal and then i'll get her to head to bed because oh actually she doesn't really need sleep you can come get some food though um, she writes in her journal all the time. I've got to start thinking about what I want her to do for her career. I think I'm going to get her a new aspiration because I think she is going to go into the writing career, same as um, our lovely mother, Hallie. So I'm going to get her to do this one, best-selling author, and she can also get into the writing career. So what we're going to do is... Let's research some baby names. She's probably excited. She knows it's a girl. <laughs> and we'll be on some baby forums before the baby comes any moment now. And we'll practice our writing skill as well. And then Clover is obviously over here. I'm going to get her to do some programming. Let's, um, let's mod a game. Why don't we mod Sims Forever? She's just browsing the web at the moment. I want to see what she... <gasps> single teen parent not only is a family member pregnant in their teens but they don't even have a romantic partner to own up to being an adult and supporting the baby what a mess yeah so i think clover's definitely like not being so harsh on daffodil now because she knows that she's already going through a bit of a struggle um but she definitely understands that it is a bit of a mess <laughs> but i think daffodil like she is probably better off on her own if that was mako's character it coming out in the end and being a complete um, jerk so that's all right and obviously these guys it's technically their birthday today but I'm gonna wait till the baby's born so I can age up them together um, but I think now that they're going to become official adults and Clover's planning to move out she's probably starting to think what she wants to do with her life um, obviously she's been making a little bit of money off her gaming tournaments and she's gonna continue doing that but she think she's thinking she ne probably needs to go into a career or start up her own business or something to just make a little bit more money if she wants to move out of home um obviously her she hasn't been getting along that well with her parents like her mom her mums um up until this stage so it's probably her first priority to move out once she ages up which we will be doing we'll be moving to Mount Comrebi either this episode or the next one and she'll be starting up her own vet clinic which we know but she's not sure what she wants to do yet so we'll definitely she's probably researching now having a bit of a think what she wants to do um and then yeah we'll we'll figure it out you know as the days come but for now, I think I'm going to send everybody to bed and we're just going to wait for Daffodil to pop since she's in her third trimester. She's not really that sleepy, um, but she definitely could do with some sleep. So I'll get Daisy to come to bed too. And it looks like Anahi is left as well, thank God. These cats are all tense from the thunderstorm. They're just hanging out. They're so cute. I wonder when how many days we've got left with Sprig. I do want him to breed again with um, Rosie, but that's not going to be able to happen until... Oh, she's sick. Okay, we'll take her to the vet tomorrow. Um, that won't be able to happen until these guys... Uh, Clover moves out because there's no room in the house. Anyway, I'm going to let these guys all head to bed and I'll check back in in the morning. Alright, so Clover is up now. She's heading into the kitchen to chat to the cats. I'm not really sure why she's up at 2am, but she's going to tell them not to jump on the counters and things. Oh, okay, so I can become companions with Rosie now because these guys are good friends. Yay! Alright, so this one has been ticked off now. Alright, let's take her to the vet this morning. Come on, Clover. I'll just quickly save. Okay, here we are at the pet hospital. Um, I think what we're going to do is just come in and get some 
pet treats. Poppy is here too and she has had a baby. <laughs> so I'll have to go over and meet the baby soon. Um, but for now we'll just get like a bunch of wellness treats. Um, even though Clover is going to become a vet, she hasn't got that skill yet. So for now we're just going to be treating... Oh geez. We're just going to be treating our pets with wellness treats. Whoa, is that a cat or a dog? That's a dog. That is a funny looking dog. <laughs> All right, Rosie, why don't you come and have a pet treat? All right, here we are. Rosie is now cured because Clover went and got her a pet treat and gave it to her at the vet. Um, Clover's feeling pretty hungry, so I'm going to get her to come in and get some leftovers. And, oh, oh, no. Yeah, Daffodil's just not feeling that great at all, but we'll be okay. Don't stress about it too much. These guys do have school today, but I'm thinking I'm going to get them to skip school because it technically is going to be their last day of school anyway. So why don't we take a vacation day at school, please? All right, since it's egg day, Daisy is going to tend to her garden for a little bit this morning. I think she's going to enjoy doing that because it's part of the traditions and these guys can probably... A bit old now for an egg hunt but I think what's the harm in just collecting a few eggs so Daffodil and Clover can come outside and check around for some eggs and things. Alright since Daffodil is gonna have her baby any moment now I am gonna adjust her room slightly um, so it's a bit more what the hell was that Daisy <laughs> a bit more baby friendly all right here we are I've given her this little pink and purple crib to go in her room hopefully she can use it I couldn't find the little invisible baby thing but hopefully she'll just give birth anyway oh geez okay um daffodil is in labor <laughs> all right it's time to have a baby miss so you can finish your food first if you want to but then it's it's pushing and popping time for you I don't know where the empty little bassinet is. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to get her to go to the hospital to have her baby. So I'm going to get her now to go have baby at a hospital and I'm going to send her alone because my hospital is a bit glitched out. So I don't know if I don't want to like confuse my game. So she's going to go by herself to the hospital now. Daffodil's having a baby. Yay! Okay, I'm really excited. I have got a girl's name in mind already, so we need a girl's name. It doesn't have to be plant slash nature themed because it's not going to be the next generation, but I do want to continue down the path of giving our babies like nature themed names anyway because this is the Sims in Bloom um, challenge. So I am going to call this baby, whoops, um, whoa, I'm going to call this baby um, Posy Bloom. There we go. And she's been born. Where is she? Oh, she's upstairs in this bassinet. Oh, okay. I think my little baby mod has glitched out and that's why she's in this bassinet. That's okay. It's not a problem. So I'm going to set up little Posy in this room up here. And these girls are also about to have birthdays as well. So I've got Clover making a cake downstairs for them now so they can age up into adults. All right, so I'm gonna get Clover to blow out her candles now because she has become an adult. I wanna get a photo of her with her candles. And she's gonna age up into an adult, yay! All right, so I know for our last one, we actually need the unflirty trades. I think there is several reasons why she has received the on flirty trait at this time obviously the first reason being um she was pretty introverted when she was younger so she sort of struggled to make friends and she didn't really like talking to people so i can't imagine her flirting second one was obviously that um she was quite jealous she had a crush on her friend anahi and she didn't know how to communicate it and the first time she tried to anahi thought she was just like messing with her so that could have contributed to her being unflirty and the last one of all is that obviously the situation with Mako the situation with Mako and Daffodil probably didn't help contribute to that and now she's like I am barren for life <laughs> so I'm gonna get Daffodil to come down why don't you come and lecture about jumping encounters please okay here she goes yay and she's gonna age up into an adult too and we'll randomize her trait so 
we'll give her three goes. Yeah, let's do awkward. I think that sort of makes sense. I feel like she's in a similar situation to um, her sister Clover, where she doesn't feel like she's going to have any romantic interest for a while. So I think being awkward is going to be a good one for her. Um, so I'm going to let her have that one. Here she is, all glowing, all mummed up, little daffodil. And I'll get these guys. They can grab a slice of cake now. So let's call to meal and everyone can come and have some. Before I move Clover out, I am going to get her to come up and meet her little niece. Yeah, you can come make us cake. Let's come and meet her. So we'll give her a bottle and play with her for a little bit. And then I think in early in the next episode, I am going to move Clover into her own place. But for now, um, we'll stay here until then. Um, because I want to take all this important stuff out of her room and I feel like we're just out of time for today but that's all right so anyway guys I am gonna end this one here I hope you guys like little posy and you like her name obviously she's not gonna be our next gen but I think it would be cute if she was friends with the next gen so maybe once posy becomes a um, child will then get Clover to adopt a child at the same age so that those two can grow up together um, but yeah poor Daffodil she is now gonna be a single mummy she's obviously feeling quite uncomfortable because she has just had a baby but in the next episode we will be moving Clover out um, and I think what we'll do is give Daffodil and Posey the house for when Dally at uh, Daisy and Hallie pass away. So I hope you guys liked this episode. If you want to see more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I post new videos about four times a week, so I'm sure you won't miss it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.